Hey guys, it's Amanda and Monica Arlumi, and we are here today with Cold Summer Nights. This is a bracelet designed by Our Mars, Miss Rainbow Limb Adventures on Instagram. And we loved it so much that we had to do four different renditions of it. This bracelet is done on the monster tail. Let's show you her Instagram. This is her rendition of it. She used the Rainbow Loom Limited Edition um, Marble Band and the Rainbow Loom Black Sweets 300 count. Love, love, love it. Here is her Instagram. She is such a sweet, dear friend of ours. She is our Mars. And this is also done on the Monster Tail. I think I already said that once. But let's go over the renditions that we have done for the tutorial. This one was done all in limited edition bands. And it has a toggle closure. And also has a little bit of extra little bling here on the top. We used the... Um, the glitzy burgundy um, purple and the blue limited edition bands and then we have little copper toggles we just love 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 this bracelet it's just so cute and versatile this is using the pink um, the pink silk bands and is using the burgundy and the uh, gray sweets all 300 packs and then we added a large uh, rhinestone chain in the middle. This is actually going to my mama, Monica's mama. It was her birthday today. Everyone give a shout out to my mama. Love her. My birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> Not saying anything, just, yeah. Um, this is mine. <laughs> this was using the new... Um, I don't know what they're called. Is it Blue Paradise mix, I think, of the 600 pack sweets. And it has four different colors of blue sweets. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love that pack. I used three of the colors down through the middles. And then on the sides, I used the denim blue uh, dual layered bands. And then I added a little blingy bead in the middle. And I will show you in the tutorial today how to add a little bead in the middle. And then I chained the sides in our honor of our other Mars, Miss Nix Haley 22. And I just love it. I wore this today out and I got so many compliments on it. Alrighty. And then for everyone who does not want any bling, who does not want any. Um, anything added to this bracelet it looks just as stunning in with nothing else added to it just just um, plain with just the bands so this is just opaque black opaque purple and opaque teal love 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 it I love the sides they're so cool how they come together so, today we will be doing the, using the silicone bands, we'll be using the silicone blue, the silicone purple, and the silicone silver. And then we will also be using the 600 pack of the blue and the purple. So those are the, the, the colors that we'll be using in the tutorial today. You can use as little as one color for this bracelet, or you can use as many as, really, as many as you really want. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be using four. So if you would like to go get your monster tail, a hook, a C-clip, and your bands, also your beads or anything else you would like to add to this bracelet, go get them now and come right back. Alrighty, so I want to stress first off, when we do this tutorial, it is um, very important that you keep your monster tail whichever way you would like to use it. Um, 
one way I'm keeping my one with the hole on it on the one side on my left side just so I can always remember and with the red dot on my left side um, if you want to have it on your right side that's fine but you need to make sure it stays that way the entire time because on the side here these little um, stitches will all be going the same way if you keep that if you do it the opposite way each time then they'll be going different ways, which would also be a different technique that you could do. But if you keep it all the same way, they will look more uniform. Just a little tip um, from one loomer to another. All right, so we are going to start with the blue purple pearl color as it jumps off of my hand. And I also wanted to tell you, if you want to start out with the color that your sides are going to be. You can also do that. Um, I used in this bracelet the color that um, I have my sides as. Um, on this one I did not and throughout the bracelet I used a separate color and I will show you here in a second what I'm talking about. But if you want to start out with the same color you can and I will tell you how that works. If you don't, you don't have to. I'm using a separate color this time just to show you how it will look. So what you're gonna do, you can do a regular figure eight, like so, across these bands, or we like to do it, is we like to cap it first and then make a figure eight we like things tight. We don't like to have a big gap on the back of our bracelets. I just lost one side of it. That's what I'm pulling. Um, so it's going to be a little tighter on the back of the bracelet. So that's why I did that. But if you just want to do a regular figure eight, that is perfectly fine. Now I'm going to take a band of the same color. And I'm going to put it all across the six bands or the six pegs. It's on all six of these. Now I'm going to start on this top left corner and I'm going to try and hold these other ones because what you're going to do is you're going to pull the bands on around each one of these pegs. So and sometimes they slip off. So if they slip off, just don't laugh at me. Um, so I, I've taken the band off of this first one and I'm just twirling it around and I'm going to skip skip this middle one and I'm going to go over this far top right one I'm taking it off and then I'm going around now I'm going down to the bottom I've skipped this middle one for right now I'm taking it off of the peg it's, it's the easiest for me if I can take it off the peg first and then go around, skip the middle, take it off that far bottom right, and then go around. Now we have the four corners done, we have to do the two middle ones. This is the band um, that I would say you need to make sure that you have very stretchy bands. All right? Now, if this is the only band that this is the only band that you will have to have that is super stretchy so if you only want to use this one as like a clear or if you want to use a different color on this one the rest of the time you're just going to be going around the six uh, the six pins not around each one um, but it is going to be really tight this time I just took this off the middle pin and now I'm going to go around the middle pin taking it off of the middle pin and going around now I'm just pushing it down a little bit it is super tight right now I'm just saying you need to make sure that um, you have a super stretchy band um, if you want to pull the band some uh, before you put it on there to make it stretch out a little bit that's probably a great idea 
So our first looping that we are going to be doing is we are going to loop this bottom figure eight over top of the one band that's on the six different pins. So we're going to go in and just loop it over. And that's all we're going to do. Now we are going to add the color that's going to be our outside border color. So whichever color you want that to be, it could be one color, it could be multiple colors. That, like I said, is up to you. Um, I'm still holding my rainbow loom in the same place and I'm gonna add my bands um, like I have my rainbow loom in the same position. You're gonna add your bands in the same position each time. Um, adding your bottom ones first then adding your top ones. All right, now I will say the first few times, if you decide to do this more than once, you may have um, these bands come off when you're trying to pull this bottom one off. I had it happen to me, it's okay, don't stress. Um, what I will say is I'm going to hold on to this silver band while I hold or pull the other band out. So I have the other band and I'm just looping it over. All right, I'm gonna hold on to the silver band. I'm gonna grab the one band that's over on the six pins, pull it over. If you do this slower and pull a little bit on the six pin one, it does a little bit better. Now see, I almost lost my silver band. Just gotta be careful and do it slow because that bottom band will try and take that silver band off. All right, that's all we're doing on this part. Now we are going to add our first middle color. All right, so if you are going to add more than one color, for this tutorial, we are doing two different colors. We are using the blue and the purple from the silicone, both metallics. Um, if you're using more than one, that's totally fine. Decide what pattern you're using and decide um, if you're gonna add beads and stuff um, beforehand. So my first is going to be purple and I'm holding my rainbow or my rainbow loom, my monster tail with um, the hole still on my left side and these you need to make sure you put in the same order as well I'm putting my left one on first then the one that goes on the right now if you want to put your right one on first that's totally fine as well just making sure that you stay in that same order now I did that on both sides now what we're going to do is we are going to grab the band that is still on those middle pins right here and we're going to loop it over. So let's see, I'm just going to kind of tilt it a little, tilt a little. Alright, I got, got the band and these are also where you have to try and make sure that you're not pulling them off. So I just pulled that one over, I'm going to grab it. I'm also kind of pulling it just a little extra. All right, so now we have it pulled over. And so our next thing is to loop these two purples or whatever color you're using out. So first, we're gonna grab the first one. We're gonna pull it and it should go to whichever side that you um, ended with. And you should be making teardrops. That's how it should look on that one side. And that's how it should look on the other. All right, our next step after we have done the teardrops is we are gonna pull over that silver band that is underneath the teardrops right here. We're just gonna pull it over onto the top of those purples, like so. Just gonna 
drop that. All right, now, remember how I said at the beginning of the video that there is a part of the bracelet that you can choose to do a contrasting or a different color band, or you could do the same color band. On this one, I chose to do the same color band, which was the pink pearl throughout the bracelet um, on the inside. And then on this one, I chose to do a different color, which was neon blue, um, which was not a contrasting color, but a complementary color. And you can see it right here. And it just, um, you could either do a contrasting or a complementary color. It's up to you and it just adds a little extra or if you do um, a, a complementary or a contrasting color, it just adds another color option to it. So it's up to you. I'm going to do a complementary color to ours, which is a blue and purple pearl. And it's what we used at the very beginning because we're using blue and purple in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is I just put that on to the four um, or the six pegs and now I'm going to pull over those two parts of that purple band over top. Pull them over. You're doing all four sides. And then I'm going to push it down. Now I'm going to go back and grab my border color, which is the silver. And I'm going to do the bottom first on both sides and then the top. Now this time the six one, the six uh, pins with the one band, it won't be as tight. So it shouldn't be as hard, but you still need to make sure that you be careful with pulling that band over top of those silver bands. So I just pulled the blue and purple band over the silver from underneath, like so. And this time we have one more step since we have on the ends, we have four bands. We are going to pull the bottom two these two, we're going to pull them over and drop them. And that's what makes a really neat nifty border. Okay, making sure that I keep my one side the same, pushing it down. Now I'm going to grab my next color, which is blue. one side and then the other. I love this blue color. It's so vibrant. Alright, I'm going to pull my silver. Now this time the silver isn't as tight, or not the silver, the um, blue and purple um, band. It's not as tight because it's not wrapped around that middle band. It's okay. That's not what it's supposed to be. You're just going to pull it over, those two blues, and then you're going to grab the blues and wrap them over. Grab the blues and wrap them over to make those little teardrops on those one pins. Our next step is to grab those silvers and pull them over top of the blues. push them down. I always like to make sure I push them down because I don't want to have any um, access to them coming off. I'm going to choose the one dual colored band of the blue and purple, put it on the six pins, and then I'm going to pull the blue band over. Push it down. And then you're going to grab your border color, bottom first, 
and then top. And then you're going to go underneath of that and grab that blue and purple band and pull it over the top. Blue and purple, pull it over the top. Blue and purple, pull it over the top. Now don't forget, your last step during this one is to pull those two bands over. Pull those two bands over. Just like so. Okay, I'm going to do another set with you, but at the end of this one, I'm going to show you how to add a bead. Because I know that that... A lot of people would like to see how you add a bead to this one. So I'm just going back to my purple. And I have like the purple or the perfect beads for this color scheme. Just pulling over that blue and purple band. And then I'm grabbing the silver. Oh, I went too fast. I got so excited for the beads. If you do that, you just grab the silver and pull it, pull it up back over. You're going to grab the purple, and make teardrops, do the same thing to this side. And now you're going to grab the silver. Silly me. All right, push it down a little. And then you're going to grab your dual purple and blue band. And then grab the purples and pull them over. So it should look like this. Now, at this point, I'm going to set this down. And I have actually already beaded them on a band, or put them on a band, but I have these really cool, they're purple and blue and silver beads um, that I got at Joann's, I believe. And they have just been uh, waiting in my little storage container for the perfect bracelet. And yes, this is the perfect bracelet. All right. So, what you're going to do is you're going to loop it from here all the way to here. So, I'm just going to put it on from one side to the next. And it's going to be stretched just like that. Now, I'm not looping anything right now. I'm going to add my border colors on. Remember, bottom, then top. And I'm going to pull the purple and blue bands over. All right. Now, on the ends, you have five bands now, if you have the bands with the bead. So what you're going to do is you're going to loop over the bottom two first, which should be the two silvers or your regular two bands, and then you're going to loop over the band with the bead. Alright, so you should just have those two that you just added. You're going to do the same with the other side. Just loop over the one with the bead. And that's all you have to do with looping one with the bead. Now, with all of the bracelets that I did, instead of them being so crowded right next to each other, I um, did every other color instead of doing every color. So for this next one, which would be blue, I would not add a bead. I would just do a regular sequence like any other time. Get another band. Oops. Do a regular sequencing and um, wait and add the next bead during the purple color um, sequence. Eh. 
I'm getting so excited. Just so excited. Wrong color. Now I have our silver. And like I said, this is just a regular one. bottoms oh snap look what I did I was holding it like that so I'm gonna go back and I am going to redo these two colors because see if you catch it early enough then you can redo it it's no problem let's see I just have to go in and get this band we all make mistakes, don't we? It is okay. That's what I tell my students. It's okay if we make mistakes. And I got one more. And I'm just gonna take these off and do them the opposite way because I was holding it the wrong way. Remember, I always needed to keep that on the left side. I was getting in such a little rush. Oops. There we go. Okay. So, now we can start on our purple and we would add a bead onto that. So I'm gonna continue on and add a bead every other time and I will be back to show you how to close out your bracelet. I'll be right back. All right guys, I have made the bracelet for an average length. And I am ready to close up the bracelet. I have put 10 beads um, every other color and it will fit an average wrist. So if you wanna keep that in mind. Um, now we are ready to close up the bracelet and I'm gonna be putting all of the bands onto this one pin right here. So I'm gonna start from the left side you can start from the right side, whichever you want. I'm gonna grab our two bands from right here. And I'm gonna put them onto this center band. I'm gonna grab the two bands from this side and put them on the center pin. Then I'm grabbing the blue purple band from the back. And then, oops. I'm grabbing the one from the left side and then the one from the right and then the two in the back. Now there are going to be a lot of bands on this one pin. Alright, if you can see right there, a lot. But you're just going to stick your hook through all of them and I'm grabbing two of the purple blue bands. I'm sticking those on my hook and I'm just gonna pull them through all of those bands and before I take it off of the monster tail I'm gonna put a c-clip on just so it's secure in case any of those bands would like to break we have an extra security alrighty so they're all on there now I'm just going to kind of wiggle it all off. The monster time I'm stretching it. 
Now I will say I did use 10 um, beads, but at the beginning and at the end, I left two, um, the colors, two um, spaces where there was no beads. Um, I just think because sometimes on the back of my bracelets, um, I, I don't want my hand to um, all the all the time land on a bead, so that's why I did not put them um, on the two ends here. But like I said, for an average length, I used ten beads um, for the bracelet. Let me put out all the different renditions. Like I said, I love this bracelet. It's really easy. Um, Rainbow Limb Adventures did a great job in her design. Love the sides, how they look. Just so classy. Super easy to chain it. Um, if you decide to make this gorgeous bracelet, please tag and hashtag both Rainbow Limb Adventures and us. You know we love seeing your renditions. We try and make sure that we see every single one of them. Sometimes we do miss a few. We are so sorry for that. Um, but don't fret we try we, we um, love seeing everyone's trust me we love all of the different color combinations if you've added anything to it if you've changed it up a little bit we just love seeing all that we love our looming family love 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 um, don't forget to tag and hashtag us um, loom for cause you know that's our hashtag and um, Please follow us on all social medias, our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. We love you all. Thank you all so much for following us, for um, being with us, for, for liking us, for being our looming family. We love you all so much. Mwah. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye.